Five ways you can use technology in education. In this topic, I'm going to explain to you the five great ways containing benefits of using technology to support learning and education in global markets. The first way that the coming age and future of technology in education is being currently looked at is custom learning experiences. So typically learning methodologies and experiences should never be the same for everyone guys. Thanks to the modern technology in education, we can really initiate custom learning and teaching methodologies and experiences in our present day educational infrastructure with modern gadgets and anyone now can initiate learning based on the need, preference and availability. So let me give you an example of a custom learning experience. If you have used the tool called as Class Craft, okay, it's an amazing tool where uh, uh, as a trainer or a teacher, you can turn your school into a place where everyone would want to be. In terms of gamification, that's going to motivate your students by turning learning into an experience that you, your students are going to love. So this will help to create a lasting impact and unlock the potential of, uh, you know, the behavioral change and engagement and the positivity and the consistency and the objective that your students are able to create. And you are able to create too. So typically the personalized learning experiences, students unique needs are met while turning your learning into an adventure. It's, it's, see what typically, uh, you know, students would love games, right? And it's hard enough to be challenging, people might think, but fun enough, definitely it is to stay engaged. Okay. So this would cultivate a real time relationship and interactions, an experience that combines development and assessment, an experience that anyone can share with their people that they are closest to. So that is what I call it. Okay, personalization or the customer, customers uh, would actually love it. So this is a kind of the customer oriented or the learner oriented learning experience that are completely custom in every aspect. Even when I talk about customer oriented experiences, uh, even if you're running a business, right? When, when somebody wants, uh, you know, to actually uh, uh, talk to you about a product and you, you are giving a consulting for that particular one, you would give it personalized uh, to the particular customer, right? This itself, you're creating a need for a custom learning or a custom consulting based experience for a typical user or a customer. This also would matter in business too. The second would be speech to text options. Now, typically a lot of variety of devices and app platforms have emerged where speech will be turned to text automatically like note taking and writing etc etc like features like apple siri and all this stuff right so the smart assistant would respond to voice commands making it very easier for learning then the third one the third point is going to be virtual reality VR and augmented reality AR learning experiences. See, VR and AR have come to a greatest boost to online education. The everyone they in the sense of students can get an immersive learning experience without needing to move their legs too much, right? And if you want to learn about, uh, you know, say uh, space objects, uh, if you want to learn about a 3D space video, if you want to learn about all this stuff, if you want to learn about, uh, you know, say uh, you want to go to a moon, you want to go to a planet like Mars, you want to head over to a Titanic ship, you want to head over to, uh, you know, say, uh, uh, get into a VR round of interviews, correct? 
Or if you want to actually leverage and even see the Mona Lisa being painted or even paint the Mona Lisa yourself, right? Everything would matter the most in kind of a virtual reality experience. When I talk about augmented reality experience, that also is a huge, huge thing. So AR, if you heard about Microsoft HoloLens, you'll understand what is that. So it, it allows even medical students to learn through and go through a immersive experience. It actually, uh, you know, mimicking critical surgical operations, guys. Real time broadcasting kind of thing, which can shake the world. Then we have, uh, uh, you know, now we talked about custom learning experiences. We talked about speech to text options. Then the third one is VR and AR experiences. The fourth one I want to talk to you or stress to you about is the biggest of all time that's been there. And that is wearable technology. Wearable technology, uh, you know, something like Google Glass. Okay, so typically you can have it, uh, you know, say uh, in future wearable devices, you, you have you'll have screens that can fold itself, right? So there are lots of things that uh, students can be able to see. Wearable technology is quite different from the AR technology I'm talking about. It is something like um, it, it's like it'll be like a smart specs. You wear it and then you can see everything there in infinite space. Okay, something close to AR, but not exactly AR. I'm talking about. Uh, see what you can do here is it's a it's kind of a mixed reality, closer to mixed reality experience, but you know different than that. In this, what all you can do is, for example, if you have a watch, okay, you'll be able to take out the entire screen of the watch that will be floating in space and all this stuff. So this kind of technology is very much coming. Okay, so it's it's bigger than smart watches, guys. Okay, <laughs> so uh, and then we have smart bags. Smart bags are something like um, what do you call it? Uh, uh, I'm just imagining the future how it's going to be. Smart bags where you know there are no books there. Okay, it's all digital ebooks. Okay, the smart bag where you can, uh, it's like a, like remember the Kindle or different kinds of tablets where you can read books. Now what smart bags can do is you'll be able to actually uh, carry ebooks, ebooks uh, in a smart bag. You'll be able to actually choose between the ebooks. A smart bag can become uh, a display, a foldable display in the future in 2025 or, you know, say uh, uh, even 2030 right so and it can only travel you sit on the bag it it, it travels automatically for guys uh, and uh, definitely the technology is amazing the world's ai powered suitcase is also coming in okay if you heard about ovis o v i s it can automatically uh, you know say um, uh, go ahead and uh, uh, walk along with you and all this stuff right so ovis google ovis o v i s with a battery rechargeable battery that all works now how is it connected to education is very easy when i connect smart bag and uh, when i connect uh, uh, you know say education uh, that is like digital books comes into my mind okay so in the future will have even video games digital video games in a bag that people can just wear across and um, and it will only travel on its own it will only start uh, like a robot right it will only start narrating stuff uh, out of those books okay it will only start playing videos out of those books it's a smart bag that can automatically operate if you heard of Zenbo ZENBO you'll understand also Zenbo you'll understand that Zenbo is a robot okay it's a smart uh, little smart companion and they also have Zenbo Junior now okay it's a smaller version of the Zenbo so it can do a lot of things right remember guys Zenbo can do a lot of things Google Zenbo 
and uh, uh you know say uh, zenbo uh, is kind of a smart humble companion wherever you need it 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 goes uh, it goes and it controls your tv with your remote correct it can uh, it can uh, use uh, you know say uh, smart it has a smart open and close sensor you don't have to worry about anything else okay uh, it has smart lighting for the perfect ambience it can dance with you it can tell stories it can teach you it can um, you know say uh, do a lot of things it can to you and all this so uh understand that it, it can mimic also <laughs> different characters okay so it's something like a zenbo i'm talking about a smart bag okay a smart bag can be owned by you zenbo has to come by walk that's it so but both are amazing for that matter and the final one what i want to stress across uh is called for the examination system okay the examination system matters the most and teachers will have an option to use AI powered uh, uh, technology to actually create a lot of quizzes. And the first AI powered technology that uh, creates a lot of quizzes I have seen is called Quillions. Q U I L L I O N Z, where you just feed a textbook, textbook guys, okay, just a text content, and it's going to automatically uh, give you the questions, believe it or not, from that particular te textbook. Okay, that was a tongue twister. Uh, it's the world's first AI-powered platform for creating questions, assessments, and quizzes automatically. And you can leverage the power of questions, uh, which is the hallmark of quality learning, right? So it is powered by AI and machine learning algorithms. Coolians is a great platform that lets you build a host of quality quizzes uh, and assessments within seconds. The true potential of questions is with Coolians. Once it gives you the questions, you can uh, curate and then ask them, pick the questions you like most, edit the ones you need tweaking and vice versa. Now, what I'm able to tell you is this will save you a lot of time, a lot of time when it comes to, uh, you know, preparing questions from scratch. You just give a textbook, it creates the questions and all these robots are doing this. Means imagine how the technology completely is changing. In olden days, we used to sit and uh, work on all the exam papers. Nowadays, also people are sitting and working on exam papers. I'm not saying olden days, but if they know about these technology artificial intelligence technology it's a cool learning tool it's a new thing uh, uh, and people can learn by doing this and uh, this is amazing guys in terms of challenges for this technology is concerned there's not a lot of challenges only a mindset will pose as a great challenge uh, for this particular technology so uh so i have detailed uh the five different ways uh the five different amazing ways that you can use technology in education the benefits of using these technologies in global markets uh, will make you stand out of the crowd it will change the entire traditional approach to education forever in simple words this kind of technology has provided teachers and learners with a new and enhanced way of interacting during the learning process also and it is it can it has a power to create a profound you know say impact on today's youth whatsoever okay so typically this is the best uh, you know ai based uh, you know uh, technology or virtual reality or augmented reality or whatever it is these kind of technology will become a buzzword and the adoption of new things will make you uh, richer uh, in terms of knowledge is concerned okay so that's how this ultimate uh, you know say technology uh, in education will play a crucial role it's going to change the world altogether